Hi everyone, thanks for taking a peek at this feature overview. For those of you that didn't catch my other videos, I'm Vivek Ramgopal from the Learn Product Marketing team. And if this is your first video, this team is going to put together videos that introduce you to new features and help you get started if you're new to Blackboard Learn. Today we're going to focus on something that's been in our LMS before, but in reality, it's totally new, the content editor. You can access the new content editor from multiple places in Blackboard Learn. You can use this for creating posts, blogs, wikis, journals, and a host of other places as well. This new editor vastly improves the experience for both educators and students while they're adding rich content to their courses. And people that have worked with this say that there's much more depth and polish than other ones on the web today. One example of polish is this full screen editing view. You have a lot more real estate to work with now. All your basic tools like cut, copy, and paste they're right here within the interface itself. You don't have to worry about memorizing dozens of shortcuts just for basic operations. And for those of you that just want to simply copy and paste from Word or code from Dreamweaver, you can do that and nothing's going to get lost in the transition. We're really proud that we've made all of these areas of content creation, from tables and images and embedding video, really easy to use. Anybody can become a web design pro with this. And speaking of embedding, our mashup tool allows you to find content outside of Blackboard and bring this into the course. This gives you a really easy way to add multimedia to your content. For example, you can search for content on YouTube directly from Learn and then customize the viewing options like you see here. It's a really simple process and it gives you a lot more power than just embedding a link. Something else that I wanted to point out is that we provide you with the ability to record and also reuse video within the content editor as well. This is called the Video Everywhere functionality within the content editor. We have a lot of faculty members who have been excited about using this video to provide students with feedback. Uh, feedback on their assignments or journals or posts or instructors who are able to use the video to provide instructions or guidance which in some of these assignments that they have within the courses themselves. And this is really simple and easy to use. If you can click a mouse button, you can do this. And you'll also see that if I click onto the second tab, I have access to a library of all my videos in YouTube, so I can easily repurpose the feedback that I've already sent as well. And this integration with YouTube is such an advantage because for an instructor or student who's been creating videos and posting them in YouTube for years, they now have access to these videos right here. It's their own personal library at their fingertips. And think of how much your students could use video today and how much more engaged they can be within the class. That really is relevant for students who use today, YouTube today more than ever. Uh, video really is the new content for the active learner. So for example, if you had a student who's studying abroad, it's really easy for them to create and play content just using their phone and YouTube. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that along with this content editor comes a math editor. And this new math editor simplifies the creation and delivery of equations by enabling editing directly from this content editor. The new math editor supports the saving and copy and paste of equations using MathML. So you can see, this is really simple and very intuitive to use. Anybody can become a web design pro with this. And that's your quick overview on this new content editor. If you wanted to continue this conversation on Twitter, you can. You can tweet at me at tweetsbyvivek. We'd love to hear your feedback, so thanks for taking a listen.